Hello everyone, this is me, Janice May, one more time, part two of the sea anemone ring. And let me go over the materials with you. Uh, we need the Y wrapped paper beads and we did this part one, a very simple process and you can go to the part one video if you like. And we need a 20 gauge wire for the purpose of this demo I'll be using the 22 gauge uh, slightly softer you need a ring mandrel if you don't have one just use a any kind of roundish uh, object that will fit your finger you need uh, your tools round nose chain nose and cutter Actually, you just need a cutter and a round nose. And uh, that's about it. Now you need to measure. You need three feet of the wire. So You probably need, uh, would not need all of the wire, but um, just to be safe the next thing you need to do is find the center of your wire okay and you need uh, something like a round pen or in this case I'll be using a stylus pen to form a loop so very simple process just form a loop okay so now you have this loop you will put your wrap beads into this loop and gather in that area and so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just take the ends and start putting your beads in here so <clears throat> my original design called for 18 be beads but you can do more if you want uh, it just means that it's going to be fuller and if you do less it's just going to be not that full so you bring the beads down okay and so you need about 18 I'm not counting because I know I have 21 in here so just need to leave three beads so it's totally just randomly stringing it the beauty about the paper beads is that the colors would all be complementary so what I call magazine colors so now you have this it's kind of shaped like a fan and I'm thinking that would be nice as a pendant too but you go ahead and cross your wire okay take your ring mandrel and if you're doing a size 8 you would want to put your wire into the 9 mark. Uh, Colette just did a video also on wire wrapping and that's the same thing that she was telling you guys. So just do the wire because I'm using a softer wire I'm gonna do two on its side okay and this other 
wire. It's kind of awkward in the beginning, but as soon as you get it down there, you'll be fine. Okay? So now you can take off your ring from the mandrel and you end up with this. Okay? So, first thing that I need to do is I'm going to wrap this around to keep the beads from slipping off. And after I do that, I'm going to wrap it also one time around the shank just to keep the shank also from separating and now I'm ready to wrap this later on and same thing with here I'm just gonna wrap this around the shank one time okay and now your shank is secure it's not gonna move around and the next thing you need to do, I think this is the fun part, is shaping your anemone ring, okay? What you're going to do is take the wire and wrap it so that your spike of your anemone stays up. Otherwise, it's going to flop around like that. So this is the trick. You will wrap your wire around the beads and make it go in the middle like that and come up and go down again and come up and the wire will be kind of also of decorative it's gonna be part of your design but your whole purpose is wrapping the beads so that it stays up like the real sea anemone ring okay like that so you can bring your wire in the middle and do a wrap around and around and down and up again and take the other wire there is no rhyme or reason here I don't have a pattern per se all I do is I just randomly wrap this beads to keep them from moving around so as you can see it's coming along just fine right and I have a lot of wire left but that's fine it's better than to have than to run out of wire so it's gonna do that and back okay so there's your anemone ring it's really taking shape and the nice thing about this is you can adjust your spikes and because each of the bead, as we were doing it on part one, is wire wrapped. It's not going to come off easily. That's what I found when I was doing this in the beginning and was just uh, doing rosary loops instead of uh, the split ring kind of style of wire wrap because you can do whatever you want with this and it's going to stay it's not going to go anywhere so 
right now it's taking shape I like the I like the form of it as you can see okay so what you need to do next is end it so it still flaps around a little bit but that's the beauty of it because you can you know reposition it whatever you like okay there's sea anemone after all so okay anybody can tell me how to pronounce that is it sea anemone sea anemone no just tell me message me so now you end your wire by bringing it to the center maybe wrapping it one more time like so and cut it down to about an inch take your round nose and just start curling it towards the middle and hide it and hide it like so do the same thing with the other one bring it to the middle like so wire wrap it on one of the bead one more time take your round nose and just start doing that so then even if you see that it's kind of part of the design put it in your ring mandrel one more time just to shape it like so and there's your ring I think it's pretty pretty cocktail ring I'm just gonna try it on and there you have it your sea anemone ring I hope you like this tutorial you can use it however you want to use it and and that's fine so this is Janice May once again thanks for watching